paper, one of humanity's greatest inventions appeared over 2,000 years ago. Ancient Chinese people were the first to create paper from plant fibers like hemp, flax, and tree bark. From there, paper-making techniques spread across Asia, the Middle East, and eventually to Europe, marking a major milestone in human civilization. Over the centuries, paper has become an essential part of daily life. Today, paper is everywhere, in books, documents, newspapers, and packaging. Each year, millions of tons of paper are produced to meet societal demands. But this comes with significant impacts on natural resources and the environment. In the United States alone, nearly 20 million tons of paper are used annually for packaging and documents. To meet the demand for paper, millions of trees are cut down each year. This not only affects ecosystems, but also contributes to climate change. Recycling paper is a practical solution to mitigate these negative effects. One of the most significant benefits of recycling paper is reducing deforestation. For every ton of paper recycled, we can save around 17 trees, trees that serve as the lungs of our planet and provide habitat for countless animal species. The paper recycling process begins with collecting and sorting used paper. This is an essential step because not all types of paper can be recycled easily. Newspapers, office paper, and cardboard are typically prioritized, while paper with plastic coatings or used paper products must be discarded. This optical sorting machine eliminates unsuitable papers by identifying and blowing unsuitable papers off the conveyor belt. After sorting, the paper is pulverized and mixed with water to form a pulp mixture. This mixture also contains ink, glue, and other impurities, so it needs to be cleaned thoroughly. Ink-removing chemical compounds are mixed with the pulp mixture, then the stirring and foaming process will separate the ink from the paper fibers. After being cleaned, the pulp will be rolled into thin sheets and dried to create new paper, which is durable and can be used for many different purposes. During the cold rolling process, the paper is passed through pairs of rolling rollers. The extremely high pressure applied to the paper surface causes the cellulose fibers in the paper to move and come closer together, making the paper surface smooth. During the hot rolling process, high temperatures up to 130 degrees Celsius soften the cellulose fibers, making them easier to move and rearrange in a certain order. Along with that, a part of the water in the paper will evaporate, creating steam pressure. This steam pressure also contributes to flattening the paper surface. If you want to create white paper, this step is suitable for painting the paper white. The paper is then dried by a dryer that works like a giant iron. All wrinkles on the paper are flattened and the water is also completely removed. After being rolled and dried, the recycled paper is rolled into giant rolls weighing up to 30 tons. They will be cut to standard sizes and packaged. This new paper product can serve many different needs in daily life. While paper recycling offers many benefits, it still faces some major challenges. The first is sorting. Not all types of paper can be recycled easily. Wallpaper, plastic coated paper, or paper that has been soiled must be discarded because they reduce the quality of the recycled paper. Sorting requires a lot of labor and high technology, 
which causes high costs for recycling plants. In many places, investing in automatic sorting systems is still difficult due to high costs and lack of financial resources. The quality of paper fibers also gradually decreases with each recycling. When the paper fibers are short and weak, recycled paper after many uses will no longer be durable enough to meet the needs of use. The first and most effective solution is to sort paper at the source. When consumers and organizations do the sorting from the beginning, factories will reduce sorting costs and improve the quality of recycled paper. Applying automation technology in recycling factories is also an important solution. Automatic sorting systems with sensors and artificial intelligence help sort paper quickly and accurately, reduce manpower, and increase processing efficiency. Government support such as subsidies and tax breaks is also an important factor in promoting the recycling industry. Thanks to this support, factories can invest in modern technology, improve processes, and reduce environmental impacts. Each of us also has a very important role in promoting the recycling industry. By choosing products made from recycled paper, we create demand and encourage manufacturers to continue to maintain the recycling process. Recycling paper also conserves valuable resources like energy and water. To produce one ton of paper from wood, approximately 17,000 gallons of water and 4,000 kilowatt hours of electricity are needed. But recycling can reduce energy consumption by up to 70% and water usage by 50%, helping to preserve natural resources. Furthermore, Recycling paper helps reduce eCO2 emissions, one of the main causes of climate change. By recycling, we reduce these emissions by up to 60%, contributing to better air quality and atmospheric protection. Lastly, every ton of recycled paper decreases the amount of waste in landfills. By reducing the burden on landfills, we lower soil and water pollution and free up land for more sustainable uses. Every small action contributes to protecting natural resources and building a greener future. Small changes from individuals and communities will create big impacts. Together, we can create a sustainable future, starting with every piece of paper we use and recycle. Let's take action today. The future of the planet is in our hands, and every recycled piece of paper is part of the journey to protect the environment. Thank you for watching the video. If you find this information useful, please share it with your friends and family to spread the message of environmental protection. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive more useful information about recycling and sustainable technologies. Now, goodbye and see you again.